After an injury accident, one of the most common forms of injury are those related to the back. Back injuries most commonly relate to damage caused to the discs between the vertebrae. These discs exist to spread loading evenly on the spinal column. Each disc is a flat, circular capsule about an inch in diameter and one quarter inch thick. They have a tough, fibrous outer membrane and an elastic core. Under stress, a disc's inner material may swell, pushing through its tough outer membrane. The entire disc can become distorted, or all or part of the core material may protrude through the outer casing, creating weak spots that press against surrounding nerves. There are two distinct categories of disc problems. The first is referred to as spinal stenosis, or a pinched nerve. When a patient has symptoms of spinal stenosis, the disc itself is not painful, but rather the material that is leaking out of the inside of the disc is pinching or irritating a nearby nerve. This type of injury often produces pain called radicular pain, leading to pain that may radiate to other parts of the body, such as from the lower back down to the leg or from the neck down to the arm. Leg pain from a pinched nerve is usually described as sciatica pain. On the other hand is when a patient has symptoms of a degenerated disc, one that causes low back pain and leg pain. In these types of injuries, it's the disc space itself that is painful. This type of pain is typically called axial pain. For more information on your specific medical condition, contact your healthcare provider. If you have a legal question, call our award-winning team of personal injury attorneys at Swan & Swan today.